Welcome back. You're watching the Sunday Footy Show. Don't forget, coming up a little later on, Billy and his nature segment. Today, kiddies, uh, <laughs> something about a bear and a rabbit in a forest or something. And dib, 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 dob, dob, dob. What's that? Cubs. <laughs> OK, but now you want to talk about cats, and I can I understand do. why, because at the MCG yesterday, <laughs> they were out and about against Collingwood. Look, uninspiring, I've got uh, to say. Uh, but at the end of the day, Billy, they got the four points, and that's all that matters. They did. They got the four points, went back down the highway, uh, eight and three now, and they got a bye, we think, coming up this week. Uh, poor old Collingwood. One goal 11 to three-quarter time was unbelievable. Tom Hawk was very good again. Par fit was outstanding. Zach Tui, Joel Selwood, they were all very, very good. And so with this man here, who played 210 games with the Hawks, three premierships, of course. We all kind of liked him there at the Hawthorne. But now he's come to the uh, Geelong. He's been a star. He's been very good this year. It's a long intro. Isaac Smith, welcome to the show. And it was an ugly game, Isaac. <laughs> Oh, I was, Billy. Uh, <laughs> it was prob probably lucky it wasn't on Channel 7, to be honest. So, uh, yeah, it was a it was a grind, but uh, we got the four points, the old cliche, and uh, we got out of there, which was nice. Yeah, it was, um, you lost Blixars before the game, I think, uh, and, Gu and Cam Guthrie. So, you lost a couple there, had to bring in a couple of boys there, and started pretty well, I thought, for the, for the Pussycats. Yeah, no, we, we probably, uh, we identified during the week that Collingwood were the number two starting team in the competition in first quarter. So we knew we'd have a game on our hands early and if we could break even and even get ahead, then um, we thought we could get the game on our terms. But credit to them, they fought back in the last quarter and uh, it was a pretty dour affair, to be honest, with no fans, not much atmosphere, but uh, we got the win, which was nice. Isaac, you were in the game. Why do you think the game was such a low skill-based or ugly game, as people have been calling it? Uh, not 100% sure. Obviously, um, both teams wanted to own a fair bit of the ball and keep it off each other. Um, it was pretty blustery at the MCG, and I reckon that's probably reflective in the amount of behinds that were kicked. Um, you know, not too many players probably kicked straight at the goals yesterday. They were probably trying to allow for the win, and you just can't do that at the MCG. So... Yeah, it was, mate, it was, uh, it was an ugly game of footy, but uh, in the end we won and uh, it was nice to get back on the highway and it only took about 45 minutes to get home from the G, which was nice. Oh, nice. Hey, uh, Isaac, uh, your best three midfielders probably, Guthrie, Duncan and uh, also Dangerfield are out. So the, the role of Narco oh, and Parfit, on, who's... Bloody hell. <laughs> <laughs> well, and, and, and yourself, you're, 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 you're an outside wingman, let's say, but, but I want to speak about uh, Narkel because his, his last fortnight's been extraordinary and the opportunity that he's got to go inside. Yeah, I think uh, Geelong um, always knew his ability in the contest um, and when he gets the ball, um, he's a bit like Dusty in the sense that he's so difficult to tackle um, and he breaks out the front of stoppages, so he's been really good, especially with those... Um, three very well credentialed midfielders that have been out, Kate. Um, but no, he's been going very well and he's tightened up on a couple of probably deficiencies that got identified over the last couple of seasons and he's been really important to us. And I think um, if you want to give it a show towards the end of the year, you need a bat deep because you're always going to have injuries. And um, Narcs has certainly stepped up and he's probably been one or two of our best midfielders over the last three weeks. Isaac, Tom Hawkins had 12 score involvements again. So uh, I just want your thoughts on him coming and now being a teammate. You had some great battles against him, now being his teammate. Your thoughts on <laughs> Hawkins as a player? Well, my thoughts is he shouldn't do that step ever again. <laughs> uh, but he's, uh, yeah, mate, he's just so big and he's so hard to handle. And you get him in a one-on-one -on -one matchup, and um, there's maybe only one or two defenders in the competition that can go with him strength-wise. And... Uh, in saying that, I've been fortunate to play with a lot of key forwards and um, the one trait they've all had is their beautiful kicks, not only a goal but also field kicking and he's got such confidence in his skills that, um, as you said, he wasn't necessarily kicking the goals but he got 12 score involvements. Isaac, you didn't create as many headlines as the, the big key forward recruit but you've put together a really nice round uh, 11 Whack. start to your, your new career. Are you pretty happy with where it's all at? I mean, you were good again yesterday and, and just how you've fitted in personally? That's probably what happens when you, you're on about half the wedge he is. So, um, but no, it's, mate, it's been really nice. Um, the club have not only embraced myself, but Jeremy and Sean, and I think um, we've all been able to add something uh, to the catch, which is helping them at the moment. And 
Uh, it's been really enjoyable getting down here and obviously Jeremy's one of the best players in the competition and when he's up and going, he's going to be unbelievable for us. Oh, so, uh, so uh, it's, it's quite nice not to be creating the headlines, to be honest. <laughs> Isaac, how hard is it uh, to adjust to the empty stands? How long does it take before you think? Because it must, it must feel very, very strange from the outset. Yeah, I guess the mindset that all teams are trying to take, Tony, is you've got to be professional and uh, we're there to do a job and uh, we wanted the four points and if we could get to eight and three going into the bye, it was going to set our season up. But uh, in saying that, to be honest, mate, the reason I play uh, AFL footy is to play in front of the big crowds and have the big atmosphere and uh, the adrenaline running through the veins and you probably uh, don't get that when there's no one in the stands. Hey, Isaac, you're supposed to have the bye this weekend. Have you got it or what have yep. you been told? No, I think so. I think we're still running with it. So, mate, it's unbelievable, to be honest. We've got four days off, uh, which we're very lucky, and we're in lockdown. So um, <laughs> I'll be at home looking after the little one. <laughs> <laughs> Good work. Hey, let's have a look at the votes here. I couldn't put Isaac in because he walks around Newtown in a, in a Hawthorne uh, tracksuit top. But Tom Hawkins, outstanding. Parfit, very good. Zach Tui down back. Chris Main was probably Collingwood's best. And Narkel was also unlucky not to uh, get votes there. And I, and I think we should compliment Isaac too on his roof. Well, Not a cobweb to be seen there. I know. That's Beautiful very house. good. <laughs> He's done well though, Isaac. He's on a lot of money. Well, only half of what Jeremy Cameron's on, apparently. <laughs> hey, Isaac, I've got some prizes for you here, mate. You get the dozen Callaway Chrome Soft Golf Balls and the Odyssey Tour Towel. That'll be nice. The Travis Matthew Four Caps. You get four of those. That's right, Travis Matthew. Oh, the beautiful. Ac Hang on, don't say anything. Quilla Shoes and Clothing. They've been uh, kicking goals since 1958. There they are, there you look good, or walking around Newtown and then. Uh, the Bar Fridge from Bar Fridges Australia, the best bar fridges in the world. Just ring Bar Fridges Australia. A pair of Rick's Eyewear, use the code word chompers at rickseyewear.com.au for a 20% discount. Platform 28, Mark O'Reilly just here in Docklands, magnificent spot, the best uh, feed you'll get over this side of town. And AMFX, the uh, fire pit. Thanks to our good friends at AMFX. Speak to Alan there. And Australian, 100% Australian made there, Tone. And good on you, Isaac. Keep up the great work, mate. You've been outstanding. Well done. Thanks, Bill. Thanks, boys. Have a good day. All right, thanks Isaac. very much, Isaac Smith, joining us there. And uh, he's about to have four days off.